here we go again. When Shutter decides it wants to pick something up, then I'm definitely going to check it out to see what it is. And that brings me to this film, The Last Thing Mary Saw. I'm ready to jump into the review, so let's start that, folks, right now. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film The Last Thing Mary Saw which made its world premiere this year at Fantasia Film Festival 2021. Now as I said Shudder before its premiere was like we will take that and I've got a good hunch as to why. I mean right now Isabel Furman is striking gold left and right in her performances. She just had that film uh, the Novice, which was fantastic, uh, which uh, made its world premiere at Tribeca and won all the awards possible. And this was the next film that it was slated for, uh, as a release by her. And her performance in this, also very good. And I think that, you know, once somebody and once a film does really successful, you start to keep an eye out for where the other people, uh, where the, the cast and, and filmmakers, what do they got coming up next? And I think that because this also reeks uh shutters dna that there's like we will take that before anybody even gets the opportunity to, to do so and rightfully so now this film though i will say that i watched this film twice this film is dark this film definitely has a lot of things that you need to pay attention to and one being a dialogue because it's not like it's not something you have seen before this takes place back in new york back in 1843 um, young Mary, played by Stephanie Scott, um, she is, uh, they're, they're living in a, a very religious, spiritual town, and everything is about God, etc., 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 and she was raised in the confines of that, but as she gets older, she finds happiness in Eleanor, who's played by Isabel Furman, and the two of them and their relationship becomes ultimately problematic for everything that the town believes in because you know this is sin this reeks the devil and all that other sort of stuff um and the two of them are attempting to try to keep their relationship secret but someone ends up finding out about it and that puts everything that they want um in jeopardy and they want to leave town but if they leave town that will also mean that they will also have a target on their back so it's basically just the struggle of two people trying to find love in one another um so with that being said, um, the film I thought had amazing cinematography, especially in the low lights. Uh, that's where this film really excels at. Uh, the acting performances, as I said, Isabel is fantastic. Stephanie, I thought, did a really good job as well, too. She is your lead, so I thought that um, the compliment of the two, of, uh, them complimenting each other really worked and how believable it was for um, the different emotions that they have to go through. I thought they did a really good job in that as well, too. Um, the story itself isn't like anything. I, again, I, I can't put my, my finger on it right now, but this film feels eerily familiar to something else I've seen. Um, and, and again, it's it's the idea of whenever in, in these times, anytime women do anything that doesn't seem to be holy, they're considered a witch. And so the men decide to do whatever they can to execute them exile them whatever it may be and now it's just the two of them as a couple trying to figure out how to navigate in these times in these environments um i thought the 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 sound was so chilling um and creepy and brought that extra layer of uh, to really make this atmospheric core really really work so you know it just had everything going for it to to really excel and to making this film very creepy enjoyable but at the same time you have to stay invested because you have to kind of navigate through the clues and through um the commentary that's happening because there's a there's a lot of tidbits especially with considering um how how time is progressing in this to kind of make sense to how everything's coming together so this is a film i enjoy this is why i watched it twice this is a film you definitely want to check out this is the last thing mary saw once it hits shutter you want to make sure you tune in and I see all that I'm talking about. But yeah, folks, check it out. Jump in the comments and let me know your thoughts about it. And as always, stay tuned because more reviews are coming very soon. Thank you for watching, folks.